Hello everyone, it is Vladimir from Tech Divisions and I welcome you again to one of my tutorials. This time we will be talking about the cheeky error that for sure many of you receive while running the VMware virtualization software and attempting to start a newly created virtual machine for the first time. Now, how does it exactly look like? So, this is Ubuntu. Uh, my new virtual machine now I try to start it to begin with installation suddenly you can see this error which appeared and doesn't let me continue it says your host does not meet minimum requirements to run VMware player with Hyper-V or device credential guard enabled refer to VMware KB article 76918 at blah blah so the interesting thing about this error is that once you press OK it gets replaced by another error where your virtualization software is telling you error while powering on transport VMDB error 14 pipe connection has been broken once you click it OK it goes away and now how you can solve this error um, and run your virtual machine so uh, I am running Windows 10 professional but I suppose that this error is known to appear also on Windows 10 home versions you are for sure asking yourself how you can resolve this and continue working with VMware normally so in this video I will share with you my solution simply type in this field and search for Windows features now select turn Windows features on or off now in the window of Windows features which appears next search for Hyper-V and uncheck everything which you see in the tree of Hyper-V next search for virtual machine platform and uncheck this field next search for Windows hypervisor platform and uncheck this field click OK now you can see your Windows system is applying the newly implemented changes and it asks you to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes so before you do this you have to close all your programs in order to not lose anything which is on your system and then reboot your system now after the system reboot let's check again if our VMware virtual machine works by simply just running it if everything is alright then in my case the machine should start installing Linux Ubuntu from an ISO image so I will start it here and as we can see something is happening and installation works Ubuntu is loading and this my friends is all from me in case you have any questions don't hesitate to write in the comments and don't forget to subscribe i hope to meet you again in my next video